We're currently sat in Dreamers Bay on the Akateri Peninsula. Um, we were asked to come in uh, in order to do some exploratory work uh, to determine the extent of damage uh, of coastal erosion to what were known, what were thought to be known as a uh, Roman warehousing facility. So you've got a combination of the professional archaeological team from the University of Leicester Archaeological Service. You've got uh, academic supervision from uh, Professor Simon um, and his team. Uh, we've got some students out here, first and second year undergraduates, including myself and a small cohort of uh, soldiers who are currently classed as wounded, injured or sick. You get guys who are you know, stuck at home, um, concerned about the futures. They don't know which way this is going to go. Are they, you know, once they're medically boarded, are they coming back into the service? Are they going to be discharged medically back into Civvy Street? Um, we give them some respite. We give them an opportunity to get away from that. You know, most of these guys don't know when they never traveled from another on day one. But the difference is tangible. You can see it happening as the dig progresses, that they, they get this and they get into it. I, I injured myself whilst at work um, a few years ago and just currently had a, um, a full shoulder surgery, a full shoulder reconstruction. Um, I'm in the latter stage of my physiotherapy back in the UK. On the first week, um, I was excavating part of a ward and as I was sweeping away, I found a shell that was fossilised on one of the the bricks and that no potentially no one's seen that since it was laid or since the wall's been demolished which could be thousands of years so you're having a little glimpse of history the guys that were experiencing long-term um, illnesses and were currently on the WIS program awaiting either medical boarding for return to duties or discharge as you might know that this can take some months in some cases and, and if the guys aren't fit for duty then they're effectively at home waiting on the outcome of a medical board. The opportunity came through me through work um, to come out here um, with the Leicester University and um, take part in the exercise to learn about um, archaeology, um, to find out what prospects there might be for me if, if or when I left the service, um, obviously to meet new people and to experience the cultures while I'm, I'm out here. You can see the walls have got quite extensive. Some of them are even leading up out of the trench all the way over there. So it's been a really good find for us. Um, my job specifically at the moment is to record the different features and layers that we find. So obviously when you do archaeology, you're removing layers, they disappear, they vanish. But in order to go back to them, we can do more work on them. We have to write down everything we know about them. So that's my job with these little blue sheets of paper. So on the south side of the wall, it's kind of got a nice flooring going on. It's a bit more even and smooth, but to the north just here, you can see it's a bit more rocky, a bit more uneven. There's a slight burning patch there. The rocks have fallen over and knocked things out of place. Um, so we're just recording the difference in this because it might tell us something later when we get to dig down a bit further. What really makes it possible is assistance in kind, especially from our colleagues in the Ministry of Defence. Uh, who have provided uh, from RAF Akrotiri the heavy equipment we're using here, accommodation and so on, and access to cheap feeding. This really makes an overseas expedition much more affordable. And in return, what we're trying to do is to help the British authorities here to explore and understand the heritage which they have in custodianship on behalf of the Republic of Cyprus. So it's, I often say that Operation Nightingale exercises like this, uh, the motto really should be everybody wins because everybody stands to benefit from the mutual assistance we're giving here, uh, including working with uh, our Cypriot colleagues as well.